As European countries seek out new energy sources, some are increasing their use of nuclear power. But finding locations to store radioactive waste has been a consistent problem. Finland is pioneering a system to permanently contain all its spent nuclear material. Some communities there are embracing the waste, as DW's Terry Schultz found out. Who wants to live next to a nuclear site? Well, this guy for one, and evidently most of the other some 9,000 residents of the town of Eriyoki, Finland. It's the proud home to three nuclear reactors and, opening soon, the world's first permanent storage site for high-level radioactive waste. We get their uh, real estate taxes. It's about 20 million per year. Eriyoki Mayor Vesa Lakinyami says decades of good relations and no accidents with the Oki Luoto nuclear power plant led his community to actively campaign to be chosen also as the location for the Onkalu repository. The facility is being called a game changer in the nuclear power industry because the waste is deposited so deep in the earth it will never have to be moved. Lakinyami considers that a win for his town long-term financial security. We have renovated schools and, and uh, we are going to uh, build a uh, sports hall here. It's cost about 8 million euros. The economic boost from the nuclear industry is welcome, but embracing its waste requires deep trust in expertise and authority, part of the bedrock of Finnish society. Thanks to that and the unique suitability of the actual Finnish bedrock, this country is making history half a kilometer below ground. Welcome to Onkolo. When the site becomes operational within the next couple of years, the spent nuclear fuel will be transferred into steel canisters and then copper capsules, lowered into tunnels and sealed off forever. At the moment, the Onkolo site is still in its trial phase, as experts continue finalizing the details of permanently disposing of spent nuclear fuel. With such high-level radioactive waste, there's no room for missteps. Looked good. Geologist Johanna Hansen says every precaution is being taken. To ensure that also in the far future that there are no um, any, any pathways into the uh, surface, so, so this uh, facility will store uh, the canisters for 100,000 of years. Though the project has been underway underground for almost two decades, it's getting new interest from abroad. That's due in part to the European Parliament's designation of nuclear power as a green fuel and the push in Europe to reduce dependence on Russia as an energy supplier as it wages war on Ukraine. So Onkolo is getting lots of attention these days and not only from scientists and journalists. 17,000 people per year come to see this interactive visitor center and take a tour of the facility. Pasi Tuohima heads up communications for Posiva, the company responsible for Onkalo. He says his goal is to demystify the process of nuclear power generation. A lot of people say that, okay, nuclear is good, but then you have this uh, waste of used nuclear fuel. But what, what, what we are saying is that, no, that's not true. Uh, we do have the solution for that, and it's completely safe. Tuohima says he expects more European countries to follow Finland's lead now that they're forced to reconsider how to power their futures.